What's up, everybody? Before we start the video, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to Boss Let's Play. Uh, he does some Minecraft uh, plugins that you can make, Minecraft mods. So, yeah, go ahead and check that out. The channel link will be in the description. And, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and, uh, and check that out. He's also got some, some Skyrim gameplay along with some Minecraft series. So, yeah, go check that out. What's going on guys? Real Touch GML here back with another basic Java tutorial. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit exciting and we are going to be moving out of our main method. Okay, so what I mean by this is we're going to be creating our own methods, right? So that is freaking awesome. So first off, what a method is, or here, let's create a method real quick. So a method it has to be inside of a class. Just just letting you know that right off the bat. So let's create a method and first off we need some modifiers. So I'm gonna say public, uh, static, void, and we can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna say print name. You need two parentheses here. These are called the parameters. We'll get into that. And then two cur uh, curly braces. Okay, so that you've actually made a method here. Now I'm gonna explain these modifiers a little bit here. So public means uh, you can use this method within any other class as long as you initialize the object. Or, I mean, you don't, you don't actually have to initialize it because this is a static method, which, which I'll get into later on once we move into making different classes as well. Void basically means uh, it does not have a return value. So, usually, if this was not void, we'd have to return something. Okay, but since void, that means we don't actually need a return statement. So if we just put this to int, as you can see, we get an error here because we need to re we need to add a return statement. So you would need to say return zero or something along those lines that would get the error away. So basically, you can put this into anything you want: string, double, anything really, image, which which we haven't gotten into yet, but. If you do that, you need to return that type. So if you said string, we would need to return hello or something like along those lines. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to say void for now. And usually you're not going to want static methods. Uh, inside your inside your class here, we're going to usually just want public void or something like that. That that would be perfectly fine. This is an added modifier that that is not required. Now, I'm going to get into private methods a little bit later, but I'm, I'm going to say this is going to be a private method, so I'm going to say private. Basically, a private method means you can only access this method from inside this class. So if we made a new class real quick and tried to, uh, try to access this, we couldn't. So the reason I have this static is because our main method is static, and you can't call a non-static method inside of a static method. Okay, and I'll get on to what the definition of actual static means. But for now, just know that if you're if you have a static method, we cannot call a, a non-static method. So if I wanted to in the main method, all I could say is print name, and that and that would be perfectly fine. You're actually calling this method. So if we say like system dot out dot print line, uh, we'll just say name, and we ran the program. As you can see, it says name here in console. So one way to think of methods is basically breaking up your code. If you wanted to, you could easily put this inside of here. Very, very easily. All you'd have to do is just take it, put it in there. Now, you could technically write an entire game inside your main method or an entire program inside your main method. Is this good to do? Absolutely not. You would never want to do this. You wouldn't, not, you wouldn't even want to make a... a piece of software or a game within uh, one class, let alone one method, okay? So what are methods good for? Well, they're good for breaking up code and you can reuse it. So instead of saying system.out.println name, if we wanted to do that twice, we could just call the method again. And if we ran it, as you can see, we have name name. Let me ask you this though, say we wanted to print name here or I'm gonna I'm gonna change it to print text because we're gonna kinda change up what we'll be doing here. So I'll just copy and paste that here. Print text. Now I'm gonna be teaching you about the parameters, okay? So basically what if we wanted this first print text to print out hello and this next print text print out hi. 
I want you all right I want you to pause the video real quick if you think you know how to do this and you think uh, you're ready pause the video try and do it real quick okay and come back and maybe you'll learn something that you didn't know before all right so I don't know if you paused the video I don't know if, if you just kept going but if you figured it out then that's awesome maybe maybe I can show you a better way of doing it but if not then uh, let me show you right now. So we're going to be using the use of parameters and basically a parameter that here's the method right here it, within these two parentheses are called the parameters. Okay. So basically we can put in, I'm going to put string text. Okay. And as you can see, we get an error here, but basically a parameter, it needs what type and then a variable name. So what we do with a parameter, let me just use one for now is if you hover over it, it needs a string. Much like the scanner needed a file input stream or something, we can we have to put in a string inside these parentheses. So I'm just gonna say hello. And instead of printing out name, we could print out text because that's the variable name. So now if we ran it, as you can see we get hello. Alright, and then we can say print text uh, and then we can put in something else like Hello there. Hello there. So, yeah, that that's how you would go about doing that. Now you can have multiple multiple parameters in there. So, say we wanted to um, afterwards make it so that it says something else. So we can have two strings in there. So we can just put a comma, put uh, what it is, so the modifier, and then like text two. You can't have the same. You can't have the same variable name it's got to be different from your first parameter so string text string text so now we get an error here and that's because now we need two parameters in there so hello someone okay and <clears throat> you can do here in our method plus and then have a space plus text two so there we go now we have hello someone now let's try and not put a string in here let's put say one we get an error because again, this is a string type. We need a string to go in there. If we wanted an integer to go in there, we'd just say int and that would be perfectly fine. So if we ran it, hello one. All right, so I hope this was uh, eye-opening for you. Um, I, I don't know why I said that, eye-opening. I hope you learned something, okay? Uh, go and leave a like, go and subscribe. Let me know what you want to do next, okay? So do you want to start making uh, actual programs, full-on project, or do you want you want me to, well, I guess, I guess we're not going to do a project yet. So I'm going to be teaching you a little bit more classes, constructors, all that fun stuff. So go and leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's try for 25 likes. I doubt we'll get there, but I'm, I'm keeping my head high, and let's see if we can get it. So I will see you guys next time. Peace.